Blessings and blessings tribe from the beautiful Venice Beach, California. Today's transmission is seven things that women do that make men disappear. Now, you want to make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end because I leave the best ones until the end. So, mistake number one that a lot of women make when they first meet somebody who they're really excited about. And I get it, I get it, you're excited. But the first mistake that a lot of women make is trying to push for commitment too soon. You just met the guy. Leave some space, leave some room for him to marinate, for him to fall in love with you, for him to see who and how you guys are as a couple, whether you have the title or not, right? Because the moment you and a guy start texting or you know you go on a couple dates, yeah, you don't have the official title yet, and I know that our society has set it up in such a way that makes especially women want that title, but the women who often get the title and get the ring and get the man are the ones who aren't actually pressing for it. Because guys want to make the decision for themselves. And so if you are throwing little things in there and pressing for, you know, so my mom asked me or my friends asked me about you and I didn't know what to say. And they were like, oh, is he your boyfriend? And then I was like, oh, I don't know. Right? They get that. They can see it and smell it from a mile away. So mistake number one is trying to push for commitment way too soon. Pump the brakes, chill out, have a good time. This may not be the guy. This may be the guy before the guy. So just enjoy the process. Mistake number two that a lot of women make, and I, I, I'm gonna preface this, I don't wanna call this a mistake. I just wanna say that one of the things that happens that goes on in a guy's mind and that he's consciously and sometimes subconsciously checking out is whether he's going to need to have to be your everything. Unfortunately and fortunately, no guy wants to be anybody's everything. They want to know that this person that they're dating or that they're considering being with in the long term has their own friends and their own life. So mistake number two is not having any friends, not having any social life, not having any life at all other than, where are you at? Oh my God, let's hang out, let's it. And let me just change that voice because it may be, I know that not all of you guys sound like that or even act like that. However, having your own life and your own thing and your own friends is very attractive to a guy. And so if he believes that he's gonna have to and I know it can be a get to, but let's just hear me, that he's gonna have to be your best friend, your brother, your sex partner, your everything. This is a lot for a man to hold, especially when you guys are just starting a date and get to know each other and like be in each other's space. And I've heard and seen, I've dated women who had friends, but when they started dating me, they kind of got rid of all of them and they disappeared. Ladies, that's a mistake. Men come and go, but your friends, those are the people who stick around when you're crying about him leaving. So keep your social life. Mistake number three that women make very early in relationships is texting too much. I know this is a new world problem, but guys really aren't that into like a lot of detail. Like if you were to ever just like go into a man's locker room or like hang out with some guys at a bar or something like that, they don't actually talk that much. I know that you do with your friends and all of that stuff and you guys text and you give all this detail. Dudes kind of just want to know like where we're going to meet up. And don't take that as him not being into you if he's being short. Guys just for the most part in general aren't that expressive. And so if you're texting all the time, like a lot, this is a big turnoff and becomes a thing where it's like, well, whoa, you know, I, I gotta live my life too. And every five seconds my ding, look what I ate today, ding. What are you doing later, ding. Oh, maybe we should do this too. And like, let it marinate, right? I, I, just let it marinate. Chill, 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 chill. If you're sending, let's say 15 texts a day, cut that down to five, for real. Mistake number four, that many women make really, really irks guys is being overly jealous. I get that in our society we have set it up in such a way where we want to claim and own people. 
right? We don't own them. That's my man. And he doesn't talk to any other women. But in a guy's mind, you have to understand that we like people. And some people have vaginas and happen to be girls. And they happen to work with us or, you know, whatever the case may be or are at a coffee shop. And if you are overly jealous, now catch that, jealousy comes up. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't be jealous. What I am saying is overly jealous becomes a very unattractive trait that will make a man run faster than all of these things. Because if he believes that he is basically going to jail by dating you, where, you know, he's always constantly on the lookout because he doesn't want you to like flip out on him or start crying just because he said thank you for the coffee to the barista, you're gonna be in trouble. If you're constantly thinking he's cheating on you or checking his social media and oh you like that girl's page that means that you don't like me or you like that bitch or oh, all that stuff like hear me hear me i'm saying this from from the sweetest place possible that's pretty hard to deal with so like just pump the brakes on it just a little bit catch that the ego is trying to trick you into thinking that you need to possess and own him and that you can actually do that in the first place you know it's it's an illusion you can't control him so you're better off trusting him. And I get that your past and maybe someone cheated on you in the past or something you saw modeled by your father or whatever the case may be that has you, you know, extra on guard, but it doesn't do good for anybody when you are overly jealous. Mistake number five goes with number four, which is being a drama queen. It's really difficult to be around anyone who's constantly like on a crazy ass yo-yo. We get it. I get it. Your cycle lasts 30 damn days. So there is stuff that women deal with that men have no understanding of. And dudes have our own periods as well. It's a different version of it, but we have our, our, our mood swings. But if you are a drama queen, if you are literally finding ways to be pissed or hurt about everything, he will leave your ass quick. This is not attractive. Nobody even, nobody wants to even be friends with someone like that, let alone date them. So I'm gonna keep that one short. Stop it, stop it. Figure out a way to discern between what is truly something that you need to be dramatizing and what is like, eh, like, eh, life. Mistakes number six that women make that make men run fast is micromanaging. The thing to understand is that before you met him, his life was working. So I get that you know, you may have some tendencies that want to come out and you want to make sure that he's got it all together at the time that you think he should have it together and all of that stuff. But when you micromanage someone, this can be a deeply annoying thing to not feel like someone trusts you enough to run your own life because you've been running it previous to ever meeting them. Let go of some of the, and I get it, women, you guys have uh, what Alison Armstrong calls a diffused focus from your uh, gathering days. Hunter, gatherer, hunter, single focus, gatherer, oh, lots of things, trees, berries, what? diffused focus. So you're seeing everything. You're seeing a lot more than he may be seeing. However, it doesn't make it better or right. So, shh, just chill out on it, just a little bit. Just pump the brakes a little bit. Begin to notice it. Mistake number seven that women make is, especially early, and women, you will get so far if you really work on this one, is expecting a man to pay for everything. Now, traditionally, I get this. I pretty much pay for everything, and it's something I actually love to do. What's awesome is, is that my wife, from the very beginning, also would attempt to pay for things. She would see that I just bought the movie tickets, the parking thing, and all of these different things, and she'd go, let me get the popcorn, let me get the waters, let me get the, right? And this for me was like, yes, this is the type of woman I wanna be with. The type of woman that understands that men and women, basically, you know, I know that it's not as equal as it could be, uh, but it's on its way, but you know, my wife makes just as much money as I do. And so to position a man where he believes that every time he goes out, anytime he does anything, he's gonna be paying double every single time and you're expecting it as if, you know, like your money doesn't count. This, especially for, you know, guys out there trying to find their piece of the pie, that's kind of scary and that's hard. They don't have the freaking budget to pay for two people, especially if you wanna be around all the time. That means three meals a day, he's paying double that. It's kind of like, just like 
sympathize, empathize with him. So there you have it, ladies. That is the seven mistakes that women make that pretty much make men disappear. If any of these resonated with you, if you know that you did at least one or two of these in the past, I ask that you leave a comment below and tell us which ones you did and which ones resonated with you and just let me know if this inspired you in any way. My only ask is that you share this with someone who you may think would get value from it. From my heart to yours, blessings and blessings. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh, ooh, blue, 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 Rastafari.